Hi everybody. Happy Thursday. Throwback Thursday. It's 12.44 and I just thought I would come in and share a little recipe. Something I like to do when it's oh and I just want a little bit of something. Either I go Indian with this or I go Asian or a little shadow here. Or you can do anything you want with it, really. I made a little mayfun noodle and I cooked up my vegetables on the side. I have a fourth burner, which I recommend everybody have a little fourth burner with a basket because it's just awesomeness. So I popped some broccoli and green bean into my fourth burner steamer. And then in my saute pan, I cooked up some, just your basic miracle, like some one medium onion. In fact, I think I, I mixed my onion. I did a little red onion and a little uh, videla. I did half and half. And then uh, two big celery stalks and three carrots. And I chopped those down. I was going to do like a long, but then I decided to do a chop. And... Cook that up, and I had a little bit of cubed ham, about two tablespoons. I rinsed it really good, chopped that down. And I had fully cooked chicken sausages, which I've never tried, but I saw a recipe, and I thought I want to try them later this week. Um, and I probably don't buy them because it's like 500 and something milligrams of sodium in one leak. Um, but they're fully cooked, so I used one leak, and I chopped it down. I'll show you the kind I got. This kind. Wegmans Italian sausage. Fully cooked. Yeah, but 580 milligrams of sodium. Um, so I'm going to be like divvying that up for a little while. And then I took a little bit of my celery flowerettes and I shipped and added that in there. And I took a little bit of my romaine lettuce and I just pop that in and I just made like a like a mock out cabbage in it and then to that I added one can of Wegmans low sodium uh, two and a half cups uh, chicken broth which the chicken broth is still 1030 milligrams of sodium so you gotta kinda go light with this I added some portobello mushrooms to my green beans and my onions and my celery and my carrots and my broccoli and my and all that and um cooked up my noodles the kind of noodles i use are these i got them during the panic shopping craziness that started in march when there was no pasta i got the in the international aisle at wegmans they had the viet viet i can't say that hutu hutu rice noodle Anyways, it's gluten free. It's not no no GMO, and you just make a little something, something with it. You just boil up your water, and uh, there's eight servings in here. So half a pack is four servings, and you immerse it into your boiling water and let it boil for about seven minutes, and then rinse the bajeros out of it. Don't overcook it, or it'll be mushy. And then it's ready for broth. Or you could just pop it into your pan and do like I made fun. Um, I decided to do one little pack. Mine's getting kind of mushy because I let it sit here too long. But I did one little pack of um, takeout soy sauce. Like the kind you get from when you eat takeout. So I have a bowl of yummy here. And my broth, it, it, you know, it took all the broth. So, the chicken, you can really smell the chicken um, sausage in it. It's only one little link. And that little bit of ham crisped up made it really nice. And I got my little chopsticks. And I'm just going to pretend I'm having a nice Asian meal. Right? 
this is what I like to eat. And um, I'm done. So just add everything together. And I know it doesn't look really great here, but it looks better here. The lighting is just all off today. It's really yummy, yummy good. So I thought I'd share my recipe. It's no big deal. I did I did use dash. I think the spicing is what makes the difference. So um, I used one packet in that whole bit, like one of these little packets. And there's like 2,000 milligrams of sodium in that. So that would be like for four people, maybe six. Um, and then I used salt-free dash and a little pepper. Um, I did put a little ginger and a little garlic in it. I did. I put my ginger in with my chicken broth. You could use a rice vinegar. I did. I'm remembering now what I did. I put a little bit of red wine vinegar in it just to give it the color and a little tiny bit of paprika. So, I mean, you know, it's all good. That will last a long time. You know, just put on the money for Chinese. You don't have to worry about contact, whatever. And it's fun. Fun and easy and simple. Simple, simple. I put my bowl over here. The lighting's better. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy myself. Yeah, isn't it nice? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to taste. All right, so my noodles didn't stay really noodly. They're a little bit... They're slurpable still. Mmm. -hmm. That's really good. Fully cooked chicken, chicken sausage. Anyone that has the, um, any chicken sausage that has, like, the, the sweet peppers in it and onion and garlic, then you don't have to put the onion and garlic or the pepper in it. Just brown it up really good. And a tiny bit of cubed ham. I mean, really, not even two tablespoons total. I just crisped it up, added it without my vegetables, let them run around a little bit in the pan with a little extra virgin olive oil. Put my chicken broth in there, threw a little bit of my grated um, ginger. I just get a ginger, piece of ginger, and then I grate it in with this little dollar store grater thing. Works great. And I also did a little lemon zest in it too. And a splash of lemon. It's really good. Really good. There's nothing bad in there for you. Maybe the chicken sausage, I don't know. Probably not the best idea. I'm not really crazy about ham, but I had it in the house, so I had to get rid of it. So, there you go. Have a nice Thursday. I hope you'll have fun. Make a little takeout food at home and enjoy. Bye.